When you use auto vision in emulator mode, it knows that a smart camera is not connected and therefore skips the second step and immediately goes to step three, where you can create your vision job. Creating a vision job is a simple matter of taking the eight predefined tools, dragging and dropping them into your workspace, setting their parameters, and then checking your output, the results of those tools, again, saved images. For example, in this case, if we want to validate that we have eight pills in this blister pack, we can use a count tool and have it look for light parts. Let's change dark parts to light parts in the function setting down here and say that the minimum and maximum values are eight. To make sure that we're getting the right pills and not other objects, we're going to adjust the minimum size. As we adjust these thresholds, you can see that objects automatically appear and disappear, giving you real-time feedback. You can see that this image is failing. As I step through the images, I'm getting some fails with passing results when the count is actually 8. Finally, once you have set up your job, you can try it out in the run mode, which will automatically cycle through your images and give you some statistics on those images. Let's go back to the create step. This job has been set up to look for light objects and count them to make sure that eight of them are present. You can see from the saved images that in instances where we have a broken pill, it does not meet the minimum number of pixels. In other instances, we have eight pills, and one of those pills is not in its proper location. In this case, we could either use the Presence Absence tool, or better yet, we can use the Count tool in each of the eight locations to validate that the pill is actually in that location. I'll show you by example in this one. and I would repeat that across these eight locations. We can rename the steps. and we can save the job.